Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory, where we are continuing our uh, encased beam setup. I have continued a little bit up here. Uh, we have the five assemblers set up in a line here, and we do have uh, steel pipes going in, and we'll soon have concrete going in as well. And basically, uh, that's how it's going to be. Uh, Concrete on the right hand side input, uh, steel beams on the left hand side input, and so on down the line. So let's just hook this up so that we get the concrete moving. It should start feeding in. We haven't powered up or configured the assemblers or anything yet. I just want to see that it's actually moving down the line. Uh, Alright, so let's see. It's here. That looks right. We need conveyor one for the inputs here. That looks right. And this is the last one. And I do believe it's here. That doesn't look right. Nope needs to come forward one so right there I think and stick it in there we go and then we just need to hook these guys up and this one didn't actually need to be a splitter but it's fine it's fine okay and then we need some splitters for the top line here, whoops, let me just get back up here, there we go, and if we look, we want it there, go up here somewhere, hmm, if we stand here, then look this way, then it's right here. That's fine. And here we just need Mark 1s as well, actually. I believe, let's see, alternate and case steel beams. Uh, 36 per minute, yeah, we just need Mark 1s. So let's just uh, get Mark 1s on our hot bar. So we don't have to go in all the time. All right. So a splitter there. And belt. Two more. Where's the uh yeah. Okay, so we are pretty much there. We we still don't have uh, concrete and stuff going up. Uh, well, uh, we do have the concrete that we need, but we don't have the steel that we need. Uh, so we'll have to get that. Mm, this is going to be a little bit awkward. I guess we'll have to just put it as close as possible. Will that work? I hope it will. We'll find out, I guess. Looks like it works. Excellent. Let's uh, run along and configure all of these guys. And then hook them up to some power. And some output. So let's see, we need a power pole here. Here. There. And then we just need to hook them up. And you can hook up to that one. 
Oh, I forgot to... Let's crawl up on top here. suppose it would help to hook the actual machines up as well, if you want them to do anything. Oops. Come on, get up there. There we go. That should get everything moving. Yes, it is. We're standing. So we will definitely won't have enough uh, steel pipes for everything, but uh, that's okay for now. Concrete shouldn't be a problem. We should have enough concrete for everything, plus a tad actually, but I'm okay with that. And let's uh, set up a little output here. Uh, Let's keep it pretty tight, Something like that. And get everything hooked up here. There we go. And for this we just need Mark 1s as well. Should be getting the beams coming out. Yes, we are. Outstanding. And the reason that I'm uh, doing, uh, finishing up this setup before I uh, get more steel going and stuff, is because we actually need, uh, we need the encased industrial beams for the belts. So, so we're going to the encased industrial beams going over to our storage area over here and then we'll go and hook up some more uh, iron and stuff because we, we need we need these outputs we, we need these encased industrial beams so Let's see, I think I want to go up on stackable conveyor poles, just in case. And where are they? They're right there. All right. So, let's see. I want to come down and run here along the side somewhat. If that will work. And it's just built one. We actually need more iron plate to complete this. I am pretty sure. Okay, we need a wall. And we need it right here. And then we need a conveyor pole. Like right there. Oops. Come in there. I don't think we have enough iron plates for this. Nope. Let's go get some. You always underestimate how many of each item you need in this game, I feel like. I mean, sometimes you feel like you've picked up all the iron plate in the world, all the concrete in the world, steel beams in the world and you should be good to go and then when you actually start building uh, you run out before you've even blinked but i don't need that much 
iron plate right now. I need some, but not a lot. Oops, I need to. Actually, we can go this way, I guess. Okay, we know I haven't built that. Alright. I need to build uh, some some way of getting up other places than over here because it's a little bit annoying that I have to run all the way over here every time. So I want uh, access to the upper levels from other places as well. And I'm thinking that here we'll somehow build a stair up to the next level as well so that we can come up right in the middle of the factory somehow. I'm actually gonna have to look at that pretty soon because I think we're standing on that right now about that right now so I need to plan that into uh, the extensions of the of the um, factory wonder can it get down there I seriously doubt it let's just try and stick a ah, it's not gonna be able to get down there that is way too steep hmm okay so that means we need to come down some other way. How are we gonna do that? Suppose we could put wall conveyors in. I wonder. That's going to be a mess because it's going to be every single output from up there that's going to have to come down somehow. Or we're going to have to lift, the, lift this up. Uh, hmm. What we could do, I suppose, is put a... Pull up here and see if that works. That might actually work. It's still too steep. Let's try one higher. That works. Then we just need to get it into there. Or we could move the container. Uh, organization. Move the container over like that. And we then get a. Uh, we can get a conveyor in there. But we still can't get the belt down. Darn it. Uh, but okay. Uh, this is manageable. This is manageable. So let's uh, build the correct walls here. And then we will... Uh, let's see... Is that too close? I think it's a little bit too close, maybe. Can it come down to there? No. Too close. That should work. Yes. And then we need to come around. And see if we do like this. OK. 
Can this then come down there? No. Hmm. What if we move it over like this? No, still not. Hmm. What can we do? What we could do is... I wonder if this is going to work. Still no. No go. Uh, you know what? We're going to delete this for now. And then we're going to move this over a little bit closer. Certainly can come down there, can come down there. It can actually. Okay, that's pretty nice. Then we just need to get it. Down. Uh, it's not at all the way I want it to go. Why would you choose to go that way? Go the other way. Now, why would it choose to go? Look at this. It's choosing to go like the opposite way around. I just want it to come out and go down here like this. But then it chooses to go that way. That's a little bit odd to me. That is a little bit odd to me. Maybe we need to move this over one. Was it there it was before? I don't think so. I think... Oops. I think that's over one. Yeah, that works. And then it can come in here. And come in there. Outstanding. Should be possible to make this look nicer, but it's functional and that's what matters right now. We have encased industrial beams coming in. Outstanding. Let's just uh, grab a few of them. We're gonna need more, but it'll take a while for this to build up. So while we wait for that to build up, let me just show you what I've been doing over here. Because I have been preparing to get our uh, extra iron going. So if we run over this way, can I find a way through here? Yes. Uh, then we have... Over here. I have set up a couple of... Uh, truck stations. I know it's a little bit far away, but we'll take, just take it by belt over to the base. It's not that far away. Um, and these two, both these truck stations are going to be for iron. I think what we'll do is we'll set up another truck station for coal over here as well. And if we follow the little road I've built here, then we come over this way. I really wish there were diagonal blocks here so that you can could make this completely diagonal. That would be so nice. So you didn't have these cuts. So uh, devs, please 
Diagonal blocks would be, diagonal foundations would be amazing. And here we have a little uh, storage box left behind from uh, the work I've been doing and it has a lot of crap in it that we don't really need. I just don't feel right deleting stuff. So our trucks will come over from the road there, come over this way. And we'll come up here. Where we also have two truck stations set up. And those two truck stations, uh, one of them is for these two iron ore nodes, which are pure iron ore. And the other truck station is for... Uh, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, they are these two iron ore nodes which are also pure so that's with a mark 2 miner that's 240 each so that's 480 uh, iron ore that we uh, can produce up here without overclocking and uh, that's too much uh, because our uh, mark 4 belts can only handle 450. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do uh, 450 and then just underclock uh, one of the miners because I want I, d I don't want to build like four truck stations or three truck stations I just want two. Uh, so that's what I'm getting. So yeah. So we will have trucks going here, and I do mean trucks, <coughs> I don't mean tractors. So if we take a look here, these are the bad boys that we'll have going. These massive, massive trucks here, and we will have one for each uh, station, at least uh, to start off. We might need to increase that, but uh, we'll see. And then we will send the trucks all the way uh, back home and unload and get more steel going. So that's the plan. And we need to do the same with coal. We definitely need more coal production. Uh, maybe what we can do is just replace our two tractors with, uh, with trucks and that will be fine. Uh, but we do need at least one more uh, coal dumping station and loading station over at the coal which we have over there. Uh, because, again, uh, we need the same amount of coal as we do iron for our steel. So, yeah. But that's what's going to happen. And I actually think I have the materials to set up the miners. Uh, at least some of them. Oh, I need to bang on this for a bit. No, oh, not enough space. Uh, let's see, what can we dump? That. I don't think we need those. And we can dump eight of those as well. Alright. So let's just pick up this uh, iron ore. We're just gonna dump it anyway because I don't, I really don't want to have handcraft iron ingots, so we don't really need them. Actually, we could just put them in the truck. Let's do that. There we go. And minor mark two, and it needs to come out this way over here. So, those two will merge onto one belt. And then the same will go for these two. Over here. Ooh, I'm out of cable. Okay. Too bad. Alright. Uh, but we do have most of the setup ready. So all we need to do really is, is hook it up. And, and get it going. 
Let's stick uh, this uh, iron ore in there. And one thing I haven't considered is how are we going to get uh, fuel for these trucks? I guess we'll take it from the coal plant. Because we don't actually have fuel coming in yet. And it's way over there. So I hope they can run on coal, those guys. But yeah, that's the plan. And the trucks are a lot bigger than the tractors, but they're not actually that much wider. So they can fit on one uh, foundation. So a, a three wide road should be enough should being the oper operative word because uh, the vehicles don't always really do what you expect them to do. Uh, they, they can be a, a little bit goofy in their pathing sometimes where they uh, hit a rock that you didn't hit uh, or something like that and I think that's because uh, on auto the um, the vehicles, they don't actually uh, have brakes. <laughs> uh, they just plow on at full speed no matter what. So if even though I slowed down to take a turn to make the path for the tractors, they don't care. They just plow on. Full speed. No, oh, I did not need to go up here. But it's nice to see the encased industrial beams coming along, isn't it? I really like that. Right, let's get down here. And see how many we have. Nice. We will just take all. Because we're going to need them. And next time we will get the uh, iron ore hooked up and maybe the coal as well hopefully and that'll be that so yeah and how much power are we using 576 megawatts of 1700 megawatts that's not too bad that is not too bad at all so yeah that's the plan for the next episode guys get all of this going, get the steel producing up there. I don't think we'll have time to do both the uh, the ore and the steel. So maybe I'll set up the trucks and stuff uh, in between episodes and then we'll get the steel up here going. Or maybe we'll get the steel going and uh, I'll do the, or the ore going and I'll do the steel in between episodes or something like that. I am not really sure yet how this, this is gonna work. Uh, we will see. We will see. But uh, yeah, don't, don't get run over. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I will see you next time.